Okay, Jacob, so we're going to show you a few things that are changed between in Route 3 and in Route 5. And uh, for the most part, it's the same program, just a few different uh, uh, elements of change. You know, quite a bit has changed, but at the same time, it's, it's very much the same program. So here, you know, just like always, you'll define your plate. Now, one of the main things that I, I can barely go back to 3 for is wherever your um, mouse is, when you scroll in, it scrolls into where your cursor location is. So in addition to... Uh, shift, uh, control and right click, which will zoom in, and shift and right click, which will pan, you can now zoom in and, in and out. Now another thing here is that you can zoom in and out as you're in a particular function. So before when you were in a drawing mode, you couldn't also zoom, and now you can do that with the scroll wheel. All right, so that's one of the main changes there. Uh, now um, as far as drawing things in and route, uh, each of the drawing tools has changed. You'll see that the uh, when you're constructing a rectangle, that all the all the different uh, parameters will show up at the bottom of the screen, and when you have a particular size in place, you'll see a little preview of it. Um, pretty much all cases, you have a preview now that's going to show up before you before you apply the part, or you could put it in a specific location here. All right, and so uh, that preview and the new way of, of presenting that information is all new. Um, now you also have a few tools that you mentioned first of all here the snaps have changed and I'll, I'll bring my snaps over here if I if I have one of the snaps on then when I go to something like the measurement tool you'll see that you'll get a highlight of that snap and and you can see here you have a total length and a and a particular segment the last segment length of a, of a particular of a given object excuse me uh, you can also determine the angle here of a of a part uh, and the area so these are part of the of the measuring tool you also have a dimension tool here and this is going to allow you to do a, a, a dimension of a particular edge angle radius or diameter so uh, if we're going to come here and do this particular dimension it will show you this now you can hit F10 that will bring up your uh, preferences and if you go to dimensions you can change the size here and it's just pretty easy to uh, as a quick rule of thumb here just make all these the right size relative to whatever you have on screen uh, here you can do the number of decimals and uh, it will automatically update any existing ones and then anything that's new that's created would be I'll like this back at two uh, anything that's new that get created will we'll have those settings in place so you do have dimension tools now now um, a few of the other things here we have would be a move command so that if you have a uh, let's say we have this part oh first of all I'm, if I rotate something in addition to the precision input center which which was there and works the same as it did before there are some uh, new tools so here's a rotation tool where I can specify an angle, I'm going to say minus 90, uh, I'm going to make a copy, all right, and uh, we'll hit apply here, so I can rotate and make a copy at the same time. Now I'm going to use the new move tool, and here I have the endpoint snap done, so I, I can do this with or without my object selected. First I'm going to go to move, now I'm going to click on the object, now I'll go to a snap position, and Let's go down to this corner, and I'll move it over to this corner, and, and I can copy that or not, but here I'm just going to move that over. So it's a lot easier to move things, and uh, particularly with regard to uh, inside corners. Now, if you wanted to move something, you can snap to the inside corner, and, and you didn't used to be able to do that before. Uh, you also have here now an, an, a tool, and this is actually something you could do before, but it's just a little easier now. Here, I'll move this to the lower left-hand corner with Control One, one from the number pad. Uh, control Five centers it in the middle of the plate. Control One centers it in the lower left-hand corner of the plate. Uh, here I can go and I have a little updated partial offset tool. So here we can do partial offset, and we can do uh, this side. Hold down the Shift key and click on this side. Oh, uh, hold down the Shift key. Sorry, I was hitting then the control key there now. And uh, we're going to say we're going to go three inches to this inside here. Now this will create a buildup, let's say. 
Uh, now we could come here and uh, we can use the jigsaw tool to create a new overlapping shape. Right, so uh, now when we pull that out of here, we would actually have have this shape here uh, and can make as many copies of those as needed. So there's some uh, some functionality now. Of course, you have the cut by line tool here, which can be used to, we have the endpoint snap here, go from one line to the other and create the, uh, the necessary joinery in the corner there. And, and again, if you go uh, not all the way through the part, then you'll just cut it, but not, not create a new shape. Let me hit Control-Z there now. If you do go all the way through the part from one side to the other, then you'll break it up into two individual parts. All right? Now we can take all these parts, put some kind of tool path on them. So let's just say I'm going to go with the quarter inch end mill. Oops. I wanted to say 0.51 here for the depth. And uh, let's say maybe we'll use a 3 h and 10 mil. 0.51. And uh, here we have all the, the parameters saved, the entry, exit, and everything. Now I'm going to select these parts, and the nesting is new as well. I can come over here. Um, here is a um, quantity of parts. I could do individual quantities, or I could say I just... I want three of this job. I'm going to nest my originals. I'm going to create a remnant and create a nest summary. All right, let's see. I'm just going to do 90 degree rotations on these parts. Nest to the uh, middle left. I have a few different nesting options. I'm going to go with standard and we're going to hit apply. So we'll go to nested sheet one. And there's the leftover component, nested sheet two. So it looks like maybe you can only fit one or two, one or two of these in a part just because of the the size of uh, of the other components there, where it's too big to fit more than one on a, a plate. And you can see here that uh, any any leftover area is saved as a shape, and then you can you can turn this shape into its own plate and then nest other shapes inside of there. So let's say you had a series of smaller parts now and you wanted to do 15 of these inside of this area. All right, so, and there it created a second sheet as well. All right, so uh, this just gives you a little idea of some of the new nesting functions. I kind of did this one on the fly, so it might not be real values that would be used but uh, just to give you an idea of some of those capabilities. Um, now also here um, we have just kind of go through a little bit of a project. I'll show you. Um, let's come in here and let's take a look at a counter sketch that of something that somebody might want to do. And uh, let's say that we were going to draw this part now and we needed to draw this in and route. We have 39 and an eighth, 57 and a half, and 63 and seven eighths uh, lengths. We have 12 inch depth to these parts, two inch radiuses here, and uh, 45 degree angles. So if I wanted to create something like this, uh, I'm going to create this as rectangles. So let's just come here and do a draw rectangle. And the first one was 39 and an eighth by 12. So we'll say 39. 0.125 by 12. All right, and here's our first component, and I'm just going to click it up here. Now, the second one was 57 and a half. So we'll say 57.5 by 12. And the third one was 63 and 7 eighths. So that will be 63.875. All right, these are our three three links here. Now uh, I need to rotate these. So there's a there's a few ways you can rotate this. Uh, I'm going to hit uh, just select it and hit F2, which is the well, that's the existing way. Let's show you the new way. Um, so now I can just rotate this by a uh, simple process of clicking in the middle, holding my shift key out so it goes straight and going one, two, three. There's 45 degrees. I'll right click and now select this part. 
do the same thing one two three all right now I have my two parts that have been rotated 45 degrees I'm gonna right click to get out of there now I have my snap to endpoint on here and I have my move command I'm gonna move this part right here right click select this line move this one right here and right click again right click again that gets me all the way out of there and I can weld this together to get rid of those internal components uh, also you could you have the the trim command let's go back here and you can always go to trim two boundaries all boundaries and manually trim those parts out and then of course I would have to come back and right click here and do a merge to get that all closed back into one shape so merge contours is in the right click menu now now I need to do a little fillet on these corners and we've improved that tool from in route 3 uh, here I'm going to come and do the fillet tool and uh, also you can come up here and see that uh, you can go right there from the draw menu now I can do a single corner at a time or all corners in this case I need to do a single corner at a time I'm going to do a two inch radius click on one side and then the other I can zoom in and see the preview there I'll hit apply one side and the other apply one side and the other apply one side and the other apply so there we've created our part I'll do a little cleanup see if there's any any unnecessary points which there's not and that looks pretty much like what we were trying to create here now again you know if I wanted to cut this I would go to the cut by line tool a little too quick on the right click there um, tool path these parts and chances are you uh, really only want one copy of these and not several so we're going to nest this I'm going to allow 45 degree rotation apply there's my parts there's my leftover and of course I think with uh, with Corey in here I think maybe that's only 30 inches wide and uh, 120 sheets So we might nest these in this part and then have the leftover material. So uh, this has just been a little demonstration of some of the new changes uh, in and route. There are also some, some uh, standard shapes, the ability to import G-code uh, and see it as a contour. You have a little thread uh, pitch wizard here for, for putting threaded holes into um, the different materials so that you can use screws and screw them in there and um, a number of other improvements I mean there's quite a few in that document I sent you but uh, I just wanted to show you that this was a little um, custom uh, idea of what might be useful to you as as far as uh, doing countertops